Looking for ways to save taxpayer money. For the first time, Virginia Beach audited its vehicle fleet. Yeah, it looks at how the vehicles are used and it looked into crashes. Sit on your size, Jason Marks has a copy of that audit. Yeah, here it is right here. We know about the crashes, but it's also looking at vehicles that are rarely used. Yeah, vehicles that are just simply collecting dust. The auditor says he has a plan to get those cars moving and to save taxpayer money. We like to look at areas that we haven't looked at previously. One of those areas in Virginia Beach is its fleet of vehicles. At any given time, there are three to four hundred just general use vehicles. And then there are those specialty vehicles, fire trucks, police cars, snow plows. The total number of city vehicles is in the thousands. That's why City Auditor Lyndon Ramirez thought now was a good time to look at the fleet and how it's run. The audit found in the past three years, 1,100 city vehicles were repaired after crashes. The total cost, $1.9 million of taxpayer money. It was also found that some of the cost was due to neglect and abuse by city employees, something the auditor says needs to stop. So number one, obviously, is training. Number two, holding the employees that are responsible accountable, especially if it is uh, abuse. 57 vehicles were totaled in the past four years. Most of those were police cruisers. The audit also looked at city vehicles that were rarely used. Ramias would like to see those put in a lot where all employees could share. The employee can, from their desktop, reserve a car. Uh, once you get the confirmation, you go to the kiosk, punch in the code, the key drops out and you utilize that vehicle for when you need it on demand. Ramia says this would cut down on buying new vehicles and maintenance costs. In the end, it's good for taxpayers. I mean, it adds up uh, pretty quickly from hundreds of thousands to the longer term millions of dollars. Now I check with the city manager's office. I'm told Public Works and the city garage are discussing the shared lot as part of the 2018 budget. If you want to read the audit for yourself, it's on wavy.com. Jason Marks, 10 on your side.